Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Three of North America's five Great Lakes are pictured in this Envisat image Lake Huron to the left, Lake Ontario to the right, and Lake Erie at the bottom. About 100,000 years ago, a major ice sheet formed over most of Canada and part of the U.S. As the ice sheet formed, giant glaciers flowed into the land, carving out valleys and leveling mountains. Some 14,000 years ago, higher temperatures began to melt the ice sheet, and meltwater filled the small and large holes left by the glaciers. Many of these holes today still contain water and form the thousands of lakes of the central U.S. and Canada. The biggest remnants of this process are the Great Lakes. Covering an area of over 244,000 square kilometers and containing about 22,600 cubic kilometers of water, together the Great Lakes form the largest connected area of fresh surface water on Earth. The only other place where more fresh water is contained is in the polar ice caps. The lakes have played an important role in North America's economic development by providing a transportation system between the agricultural and mining regions on the western shores with the market centers on the east coast. The ability to ship materials such as coal, iron, and ore also gave rise to the steel and automobile industries in the area. Detroit, nicknamed Motor City, is located on the Detroit River, seen here in the lower left. This image was acquired on March 6 of 2010. Snow cover is evident across the land, and we can see ice build up along some of the lake's edges. A green algal bloom is also visible in Lake Erie. These toxic blooms have been a problem for the lake in recent years. Caused by heightened levels of phosphorus finding its way into the water, these blooms have increased the size of the lake's low oxygen dead zone. Phosphorus can be found in fertilizers and common household products. Well, that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.